Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday I actually did take up a new rank 3 during one of my live streams and that is my spider ham. So spider ham is rank 3 now. Obviously we do have the appropriate relic on him as well. And uh, in this video we're going to see, well, how much damage does he actually put up. Because in Battlegrounds, spider ham has uh, slowly but surely become one of the most fearful attackers and also a half decent defender in appropriate situations. He's obviously a champion that can get nuked and does uh, with some specific champions but can be surprisingly tough to deal with for a whole bunch of others. So today we're going to be trying to see how well the little piggy can take down Realm of Legends. And the trick with Spider-Ham obviously is to try and push your opponents past two bars of power in order to effectively double your proper potency and then make sure that opponents uh, activate special attacks at right times before the poppers expire, like right now, where all my poppers expired and last 13% of this fight has become significantly rougher. In super long fights, obviously Spider Ham has another secret weapon, which is his level 3, which can put his Parker Poppers in overdrive as well. But for all intents and purposes, in Realm of Legends, it is not particularly required. So I didn't actually notice how fast was that with class disadvantage, but. But, let's try and defeat this young lady. The best we can. We have paused all our Parker Poppers. Unfortunately, RNG there isn't really on our side, but Let's see how we can do now. So we have 11 here. This actually should almost, <laughs> almost 46 seconds with not the best RNG. That's not half bad for the little piggy. Let's see here. We do have class advantage, but Obviously, Juggernaut's not necessarily the best champion with whom to go for speed records. So far, the RNG has not been stellar at all. We got four only. It's okay, we're gonna push him. We got quite unlucky here with him throwing that. It's okay, we're gonna pause all of these and try and finish it off with why why must you wax me so why must he wax me so oh whoopsie okay just die okay this was not great and that's like one of the obviously irritating issues with using a champion like spider ham it still did in 58 seconds even though it definitely should have been faster had we gotten him to throw level two instead of level one but uh, especially with the new ai it just randomly shoots the special attacks directly in your block and there's not much you can do about it and it's like very detrimental for a lot of champions and especially for a champion like spider ham like again i was holding block and still am and that guy just does not care for when I'm holding block. That is a bigger issue than just spider hands. It's actually an extremely frustrating thing. Again, why? This completely ruins everything. I cannot stack up my 
Parker Popperinos. And now, finally, when I have situated myself as I should, he didn't throw it with the town on. <laughs> and it's way overkill. So, what we have seen so far is definitely a great dependence on the AI too. If AI refused to throw special attack when they would have to, it's very bad for Spider-Ham. And if AI throws special attacks when they shouldn't, it's also extremely bad for Spider-Ham. But so far we are quite fortunate here. We can force these nine as well and see. Well, that wasn't quite as expected, but okay. Okay, this should be the end of it. We have 11 poppers. Oh, almost end of it. Which? <laughs> 44 seconds. That's not bad at all. And also keep in mind that Realm uh, of Legends health pools are bigger than a typical Balgan's health pool. He is synergized slightly, but none of those synergies really increase his damage drastically. Um, just make it slightly easier to play. Okay, so we can pause these up. Again. Again. Why must you wax me so? That is not good manners, version. But okay. And now he was taunted and he didn't want to throw his special. So what I want to do is make sure that the next special he throws does eliminate him completely. But obviously one of the best things about Spider-Ham is his unusual method of damage delivery. Because still in 2024, there are not too many power sting reliant champions really especially viable power sting champions. We do have Cassie Lang now, but that's just about it. Obviously have Science Synergy with Mr. Fantastic. We do have some power sting mechanic on Human Torch, even though that's like far from his main delivery damage method, I would say. And aside from that, there's like power sting on Ant-Man, which is again, not his primary damage delivery method. There is power sting on M Frost, which nobody even remembers. But there isn't that much else going on when it comes to power stings. And Spider Ham is by far the highest damage champion of the power sting ones. Okay, this is gonna be overkill if he doesn't die for special. <laughs> it's gonna be way too many power stings there. Still 59 seconds, class disadvantage for a little piggy that could. Not doing too bad. For the little piggy that could. Okay, Skull Twitch might be an issue here. Okay, I do want to pause these and ideally You have, have two bars of power. Come on, you can throw this one now. Pause it all. And thank fudge we did because she power drained us. Okay, and now just die. There we go. 35 seconds. It's all right. 35 seconds. <clears throat> this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Okay, we got three. We're going to unfortunately let one of them expire. 
Oh yeah, and the reason why how block proficiency relic on spider ham, sorry, blo blo block proficiency is that focus, is as many of you have noticed and guessed and know, is obviously because spider ham is at his best when you can push those opponents to level two. And he is fairly squishy as a champion. So, uh, I believe that the best stat focus for Spider Ham is, in fact, a block proficiency. So, you can more effectively push opponents to level 2. And we have the last couple of fights remaining. And say so that overall, the little piggy is doing just fine even though the AI is far from ideal. And then we're gonna probably try and go beat up that uh, Starlord. I think Starlord would make a great counter. Okay, we got five. We're not doing too great so far with RNG at all. Keep in mind that you do have higher chance of applying a Porter Popper when opponent is stunned. So that's kind of also my fault a little bit here. But that AI randomly throwing specials in a block is about as annoying as ever. That is a definite change recently as well. Because that did not used to happen at no we nowhere high enough rate as it does now. I mean, yeah, of course we do have them taunted, but still. Okay, we got five seeded. Well, we can pause these, uh, ideally. Okay. Kind of okay, anyways. We got nine. Should be enough there. No. Okay, not. And then these ones should, for sure. <laughs> he is losing fairly significant amounts of health <laughs> quite quickly. Okay, so that was the little piggy that could. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Let's see how well we can do Starlord here, which has 3.4 million health. You do not need anything else here. Let's go. <gasps> it expired. Do not want to let any of these babies expire if we can help it. Come on, then. Push. Push you further. We need to activate 25. And then we can try and go for level 3. Which is going to be... Uh oh. Okay, that was not cool. Hey, that was awful RNG by the way. But okay. <clears throat> but okay. That was a not a great RNG. Now 
the mission is definitely going to be pause these with a level one if we can yes we did it yes we can we got 19 of these back and again sweet I'll pause 20 up come on then uh oh I only got six? What? Hey, okay, that was not cool. That was a very bad respawn right there. That's fine, that's fine. You got ten. We can work with ten. Eleven. Okay. Yep. We have still nine. Back up to 13. I mean, definitely, this fight did not go ideally, but still wasn't awful. If you ask me, 3 minutes 44, you can definitely do this quicker. So, that is my most recent rank 3 set start. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about 